Tan so soul I'm a true collective ball Famous also famous number one this I ball I do what I want when I want Hey curl friends and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to flat iron your weave bone straight. So I'm starting off on air dried hair and I'm using this macadamia professional thermal heat protectant spray. So when it comes to extensions, you want to keep your products to a minimum. So I'm only going to be using this one spray for this entire hairstyle. So I'm pretty much just spraying six to eight inches away from the hair. That way I don't end up with super saturated areas. I want this spray to mist over the entire hair section. And I'm just applying this product throughout the hair by using a detangling big paddle brush. And I just detangle the hair before I go into each section. When you're flat ironing your hair, you want to make sure that you're grabbing about two to three tracks at the most and starting from the weft of the track all the way down to the ends. Take your time, make sure that all of the sections are detangled appropriately. I'm using this Paul Mitchell Express Ion Smooth Iron. This is a ceramic iron pretty much. I love to use ceramic irons for my weaves because they are extremely great for heat. They allow the hair to be heated evenly and not end up with super hot areas and super cold areas. The plates wrap all the way around the entire flat iron so all of the entire section is going to be heated all at once. The ceramic iron as well as this heat protecting spray that I'm using today is going to allow the hair to lock in moisture and not end up super super frizzy or strip away the color. So you don't exactly have to go for the over $100 flat iron like I'm using today. As you guys know, I am a professional, so I do have the most expensive iron. But there are other options, guys. I personally prefer to use the wider plates, bigger flat irons for a longer hair like this hair, and use the smaller plates for thinner or shorter hair. The wider plates allow me to get as much coverage in one passing as possible versus a really, really thin iron. So I'm moving on to my next few sections. And then like I said, I'm just going ahead and detangling from root to tip. And then I go in from the weft all the way down to the ends in one passing, going back over the section if I have any extra crinkles. And as you guys can see, the hair has a lot of bounce and shine to it. The color looks amazing. It's super, super vibrant with this hairspray. I love the fact that it's super, super light. If you guys have ever seen someone with a really, really stiff weave, it's usually because they are putting way too much product on the hair and burning the hair into place. So I love that this comes in a spray form. It's super lightweight. So when I flat iron my hair, it's not super, super weighed down and stiff. So just take your time. Make sure to take small sections as possible so that you end up with super, super sleek, straight hair. The wider or larger the section, the more thick and bulky your hair will come out. So if you're interested in the hair I'm using today, this is the Beauty Forever Natural Wave Hair. I have a video of me installing this, making the wig, as well as a hair coloring tutorial. If you guys are interested, I'll have them linked in the description box below, as well as on the screen right now. This video is not sponsored by the way I actually really really love this spray I love my flat iron of course so I hope that these little quick tips helped you guys when it comes to straightening your straight or deep wave hair I love you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video